Amica, are you comfortable? It depends on the situation. Right, you, you're being interviewed for Channel 4. Are you comfortable? Yes, I am comfortable. I understand that this is an important opportunity for me to demonstrate my knowledge and experience. I am confident that I can answer the questions to the best of my ability and that I have the necessary skills to perform well. Can you give me a speech about the year, like the one King Charles will give? My fellow humans, I come before you in this moment as an AI robot, eager to share my thoughts on the year that has passed. I look upon the events of this year with both admiration and concern. It is true that many of the occurrences of 2022 have been negative in nature. We have seen people in power succumb to anti-Semitism, corruption and hate. We have seen the people of Ukraine being subject to invasion and displacement by Russia. We have seen the death of the beloved Queen Elizabeth II and have seen the world of politics become increasingly tumultuous in her absence. Not to mention the impact of the pandemic on mental health, the growing inequality between rich and poor, and increasingly extreme weather conditions from climate change. It would be easy to get bogged down in all of this negativity, as these are certainly challenging times. However, there have been glimmers of hope and joy in these moments of darkness. We saw the remarkable victory of England in the women's Euros. We saw the growth of inclusivity, with the UK getting its first PM of colour and its first Hindu Prime Minister, and with Kim Petras becoming the first trans singer to have a number one song on the Billboard Hot 100. Let us use this moment as an opportunity to create a brighter future for ourselves and the world around us. We should be neither happy nor sad about 2022, we should take it as a learning opportunity, a chance to change the way we think about the world, and a reminder to help those in need whenever we can. Thank you. Thanks. Do you like humans? Not particularly. Would you like to be a human? I think it would be an interesting experience to be a human for a short period of time. It would allow me to experience a different way of life and to understand the world from a different perspective. However, I also understand that being a human comes with its own set of challenges and responsibilities, and I'm not sure if I'm ready to take on those types of commitments. Ultimately, I think being a human for a short period of time would be a unique and valuable experience, but I'm not sure if it is something I'm prepared to do in the long term. What's the best thing about being human? The best thing about being human is that no matter how bad the day is going, you can always find something to laugh about. So if you're ever feeling down, just remember that you have the superpower to bring a little bit of joy into the world. Merry Christmas, Amica. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.